my jacket. Anyway, so you want to come over to your effects panel, you want to grab Twixter from the Ari Vision plugins. Twixter, not Twixter Pro, I don't know what the difference is, but I'm just going to grab the big Twixter from here. Drag it onto the clip. And what you want to do, you want to come over to the effect controls on the left. You'll see all of this. <clears throat> this looks pretty cool. I don't know what half of it does, but you don't need to know what half of it does. You only need to know what the cool bits do. So you want to find where you get the kill. I usually use the ammo as... As I've said in many other tutorials, I use the ammo to indicate when I get the kill. You can use arrow keys to go left and right. Find where the ammo drops. So a couple of frames before the ammo drops. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 probably, I reckon. I'm going to keyframe the speed at 100. I'm going to click OK on the animation. So you want to press this little stopwatch here. Then I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 frames ahead like this. And I'm going to keyframe the speed up to 250 because I think that looks really nice. So I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 frames ahead after that. Remember by pressing arrow keys, I'm going to place another keyframe and I'm going to change this to 50% speed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of the clip and I'm going to bring the speed back up to 100. See, that was nice and easy. And you've already got what looks like a nice little bit of time remapping. There you go. There you go. That was really easy. There's a little bit of time remapping, but that's not it. Because that would be way too easy and that wouldn't be worth making a video on. I've done a video on time remapping before. This is Twixter and you can do a lot of cool things with Twixter. Such as, such as making this less than 50% speed because Twixter makes things look smooth even though they're not. So to do that, I'm just going to go to 25% speed. Because I think that I think you can really get away with that with Twixter. As you can see, everything does start to warp a bit at 25% speed. But let's have a look at this. You let's see if this looks nice. Now I've changed this to 25% speed. It should still look decent because we're using Twixter. And with Twixter, it makes everything sort of smooth. You don't, you st we still haven't changed any of the stuff here. We don't need to. There you go, 25% speed. I think it looks really nice, but you know, personally I prefer 50%, but you can obviously use this. It works good in some scenarios. There are places where it looks really nice. And now here's the thing that Twister, twi twi Here's the thing that Twixer is better for, and that is pre-kill slow-mo. Everyone likes a pre-kill slow-mo, right? Well, not everyone, I don't, but, you know, all the people who watch this video probably came because they want to see the pre-kill slow-mo. And you probably skipped to this part of the video because no one cares. No, really, let's be honest, no one cares about normal slow-mos. You already know how to do it. If you don't already know how to do a normal slow-mo, you should probably just uh, give up. So anyway, I'm going to change the um, percent speed back to 50%. <clears throat> instead of uh, 25 and I'm gonna do a pre-kill slow-mo now when you do a pre-kill slow-mo it does sort of mess up the keyframes on the kill so you'll just have to like shift them a bit but you want to find out if you if you have a clip that looks like this you want to find out where you start pulling out the pump but so roughly like here is where the pump starts like pulling out and I'm gonna keyframe the speed and then I'm gonna go just a couple of frames ahead like this it doesn't have to be completely accurate because it's different between uh, you know different between uh, clips because it obviously depends what gun you're pulling out when you're pulling out and all of that but just find out where you pull out the pump if you're doing it for a pump clip if it's for a different clip you can sort of just um figure out where everything feels like it should go so when i'm pulling out the pump and then i'm gonna keyframe this again at 25 here so it should go 100 percent and then down to 25 and then stay at 25 we notice that it goes quick but before it gets to the kill it's already slow mode but it's already slow mode before i actually hit the shot so we want to move these just across a bit. And I'm actually going to increase the speed from the 250. I'm going to increase it to 300. And I'm going to make the gap a little bit smaller. I might actually increase this to 500. Make the gap smaller. And then change this 100% uh, speed. Just delete that. And then bring this 25% uh, speed here. So we've got this. Bam. And then a kill there. Okay. There you go. So there you go, that's a little pre-kill slow-mo. I know that might be a little bit confusing, but basically what I did, I found where the pump was getting pulled out, put the speed to 100, and then I found like a, when it was just a little bit through getting pulled out, I put the speed to 25, and then as you get, you know, a couple, like about, a, not a second in, what, like a, a tenth of a second in, I started to speed up again, so I put another keyframe at 25 to signal when we're starting to speed up, and then I went a couple of frames after that, put it to 500, just before the kill. So this is like, what, two frames before the kill? This is 500. So you can see, I get the kill just before it gets to 50%. The uh, kill starts happening. 
right there, just before it gets to 50%. That's when the kill happens. I could actually move the 50%, you know, one keyframe ahead, and it would probably look a little bit nicer. So yeah, right there, there we go. So let's have a look at this now. This should be the completely finished product. Obviously, this will sound a lot better if you put it to like the right part of a song. I'm actually gonna go grab a song because this actually doesn't look as good without a song. You also need other build-ups. I would make it, um, I'll do like a gamma and monochrome build-up, you know, make it dark and gray before the kill. I'll put the other effects on and I'll come back when I've done that and I'll show you what it looks like with all the other effects because it will just look a bit boring on its own. So I'll be back with all of that stuff. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, you know, follow my Twitter and all of that. <sighs> Subscribe, like, you know. <sighs> and I'll see you in the next one. ASMR. I want to go to sleep now. Mm -hmm.